Does it disappoint you that you go into Liverpool, because clearly it's the biggest club in English football and the most successful club at that period of time, yet it didn't necessarily deliver you the outcomes that you might have anticipated? It delivered me the outcomes I anticipated and more. Because don't forget, when I went to Liverpool in 1987, yep. we won the league, we lost the cup final to Wimbledon. Yep. Next year we won the cup, we finished second to Arsenal. Yep. Next year we won the on league. The league so yeah. the first four years, it gave me everything. Yep. What it couldn't give me because we were banned from Europe was European football because yep. we were banned for five years. Now I knew when I signed for Liverpool... But it never gave you another championship. Did it? After winning two championships yep. and we finished second, no, it yep. didn't. But what I'm saying is that in the first five years, it gave me, of course, we wanted to win five, but in terms of the success we had. But I went to Liverpool, Peter Beardsley came as the most expensive player, knowing that we're not going to be in Europe. Yeah. Now, of course, you talk about who's, how can Liverpool attract players if they're not going to be in Europe. Back then, and the way it should be, is that you want to come and play for Liverpool, regardless of mm. whether, as Bill Shankly said. Was that really the case then, though? 